Michelle. Oh, hi. Congratulations. Hi. How are you? Hi. Congratulations. Um, incredible you. speech out there, and I think that was incredibly galvanizing for the room to see. Um, I think there's just some confusion about what specifically you might have been sharing. If there's any clarity, that would be wonderful, and, and thank you for it. Um, uh, no, I said it as, I said it as I intended to. Hello. Hello. Uh, congratulations, first of all. Uh, how is your James Joplin project going? Uh, in the distant future. Yeah, good question. Long way to go. Michelle, hi, congratulations. Hi. This speech, your Emmy speech, are maybe two of the most personal and inspirational and yet prepared for public speeches I've ever heard. What has given you the courage and the insight and, and has it been hard for you to present yourself in this way? Because it's very important for all of us. Thank you so much. Um, it has been, and by nature, I'm a shy person. Uh, but I'm about to turn 40. And I realized that over a great span of time, I've changed, and I've become stronger, and I've become more able. And I found my voice, and I wanted to be able to use it because I know when other people have used their voice I know what a difference it's made in my life and I also feel like at this age and where I am in my life I have so much to give and it would be negligent of me to not try from this position to hand back everything that was handed over to me thank you Hi. Hi, congrats. Thank you. Yeah, like everyone said, your speech was truly incredible, and I did want to know if you were speaking on any personal experience at all, and if there's anything you'd like to add to the young women who listen to you today. Um, not really. Somehow I've managed to fit it all into a minute and a half. <laughs> that was... Um, there's so much to say, but the everything I wanted to say tonight in that way... I think, from what I remember, happened up on the stage. Thanks. Last question right over here. Yep, last um, question. Michelle Angela Bishop from Network 10 Australia. How, how are you? Congratulations. Thank you so much. Um, what Jeannie mentioned your, your Emmy speech where you spoke about uh, pay parity for, for women in all professions. Do you feel there's been progress on that since your speech, particularly in Hollywood, where you've seen it firsthand? And are you hopeful, likewise, that tonight's speech may see change in the not-too-distant future? It's hard for me to say because I'm, I'm not inside of... Uh, I'm not on the inside of everyone's story or um, uh, what is happening or changing in, everyone li in everyone's lives. Uh, I, I do... The, so all I can say is what I know from people coming up to me um, and... Uh, and the experience that I had after giving the speech at the Emmys and having women come up to me and talk to me about how it affected them or how it helped them or how it changed their um, what they asked for uh, it, it, from their bosses or bosses coming up to me and saying how it changed what they gave to their female employees. It is the greatest professional thing that has ever happened to me. And so I felt like tonight, if I was lucky enough to win, I couldn't not say something else that was on my mind in the hopes that it would, um, in the hopes that somebody would hear it. Thank you. Michelle, my love. Hi, dear. Um, we saw you in Cabaret, and you were fantastic. Thank you. Sally. Thank you. So when can we see you again on stage? Um, it's the next thing that I, it's the next thing I want to do. It's the next thing I'm going to do. Um, but I, I got a little time to take off <laughs> first. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, after I uh, 
take off some time, um, then that'll be the next thing I do is go back and do another play. I'll tell you in a minute. <laughs> okay. Thank, Thank you. you.